Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Did you have a good day? Good Monday? Yes. Nice. Yes. What about the weekend? How was the weekend? Did you rest? No. No. Nothing. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, I a was lot of very, very busy. Very busy. I yes. imagine a lot of things to do during the weekend. Sound a chance. Well. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Did you have a good weekend? A good Monday? How are you doing? Well, I hope that you're doing good. So we're going to start the class and uh, we're going to start section number two today. And I'm going to share my screen so that we can watch a video together. This section is going to be uh, related to a uh, health problem. It's, this is what we're going to study. So I'm going to present the video to you. And uh, let me share audio. Okay, let's watch. Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Did you repeat at home? Yes, teacher. Okay, is there any question about this vocabulary or pronunciation? Maybe insomnia? Uh, I feel that I pronounce the- You mispronounce yeah. that word. Yes. Okay, not a problem. We can uh, repeat the audio. And as you know, and I said before, I use this material because it's the same as the platform. Uh, it's one version I had, but it's the same. But I don't use the audios from the video because when I want to play the video again, sometimes it gets like stuck and it sounds like it's a remix or something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to play this audio and you can repeat at home. I'm going to pause the audio so that you can repeat. Lo voy a ir pausando porque ah, igual entiendo el video va muy rápido, etcétera, pero ajá, no lo hago desde el audio del video porque si yo voy pausando el video, luego se pone como que se traba y suena como que es un remix. So, but yes, I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to play the recording twice and I'm going to be stopping the recording so that you can repeat. Oh, let's listen then. Let's, let me see what is the audio icon here. Oh, there is no audio. I'm sorry. Okay, yes. Uh, so the pronunciation is pretty simple. So you have here a headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache. A cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. What's it clear now? So it's basically the same, you say insomnia. Is there any other word that you would like to confirm pronunciation or meaning? The number three, please. Sir, sir, muscles, muscles, uh huh, sir, muscles. Thank you. 
Any other? Have you had any of these problems recently? I almost mm -hmm. always have insomnia. <laughs> what yeah. about you? Me too. <laughs> you too, Maria. You frequently have insomnia. Yes. Any other? I feel Are... backache sometimes. Oh, backache. Uh huh. Sometimes you get backache. All right. Alejandra? Hi. I want to know what's the difference for a cold and the flu. Well, a cold, as you can see in the picture, it's when you have a cold, you just feel like a runny nose. Yeah, runny nose and um, probably itchy eyes. But when you've got the flu, you have all the symptoms. You have fever, you have, uh, you're sneezing, um, you, you have cough, maybe headache, yes. Uh, let's say, let, if we put it in Spanish, we said un resfriado can be a cold. Un resfriado es como cuando no nos sentimos del todo mal, solo es como que hay mucho moquito, tal vez estornudos y tal vez se irritan un poco los ojos. Y the flu ya es la gripe en sí, ya con todo, el combo completo, con calentura, todo, estornudo, dolor de cabeza, fiebre, esa es la flu. Any other question? Yes. And how do you say dolor de garganta? Dolor de garganta. You say sore throat. Uh -huh. Sore throat. 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 Ahí se las escribí en el chat de la meeting. Sore throat. And uh, dolor de muelas. Ah, it's toothache. It's toothache. It's in the chat as well. Toothache, like this, toothache. Ah, and it's together. I, I separate the word. <laughs> toothache. Toothache. Mm -hmm. To take. Any other question? <clears throat> All right. Now that you have defined the vocabulary and pronunciation, we have, well, in the next video, you're going to uh, listen to this conversation, but we're going to uh, do it from here. So, it's, it's the same. So I'm going to play the audio here so that you can listen. As you can see, it's two in the picture. And I think this man is not feeling well. Yeah, so if you see the picture, he's not feeling well. So we're going to listen the 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 conversation as it is in the video. And then you tell me if you have any questions. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. Health problems. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck! That sounds awful. Okay, now do you listen to the conversation. Is there any question? 
What is yuk? Uh, it's, it's just an expression as we said, yeah. Asqueros, es una expresión nada más, como que dijéramos guacala, no tiene un significado. Solo es una expresión cuando algo es like asqueroso. Okay, Okay. Any other question? Garlic. Garlic. Garlic is ajo. I don't like anything that has garlic. <laughs> <laughs> you hate garlic. Almost. <laughs> oh, Why? But... Why? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, it tastes good, but anyways, even a garlic a garlic bread, no? Good, delicious. And I, I really like it. In bread and pupusas, <laughs> cheese and garlic, they are delicious. You should try. <laughs> in bean soup. Ah, uh, in beans. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so a new word, garlic. Uh -huh. Garlic. Well. Garlic. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Sure. Yes. How was it doing? Hmm? Uh, hi, Daniel. Do you have a question, Daniel? I want. I want. Yeah, hi, I Daniel. What is the meaning of the word awful? Awful. Awful is like um, when something is disgusting, it's like. um. Disgusting, asqueroso, that's awful. Mm -hmm. Desagradable, algo, yes, algo desagradable, awful. Um, any other question? No, teacher. No? <laughs> yeah. Uh, whole, whole means complete. Whole, complete. Completa, entera. Mm -hmm. Teacher, um, the meaning of chop up, chop up. Oh, chop, chop up is, is the, chop. like the, aha, uh -huh, picar, picar, okay. chop up. Yeah, chop up a whole head of garlic. Um, es como cortar o hacer trozos, picar una cabeza de ajos entera. And cook it in chicken stock. Ajá, con caldo de pollo, no creo que sea tan feo. <laughs> okay. Any you other question? Yeah, you have to try. <laughs> okay, well, if there are no more questions, I'm going to play the recording okay. one more time and I'm going to stop after each interaction so that you can repeat at home and then we're going to practice with our classmates. Okay. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, exercise two, conversation. Health problems. Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works.
Yuck. That sounds awful. You're on mute. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yo me pongo en mute para por si algún ruido de repente para que no interrumpa la, 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 el audio, pero me están diciendo que no se escuchó. ¿No escucharon la conversación? Sí se escuchó. Sí, sí se escuchó. escuchó. Ok. Después no lo he escuchado. Yo. Ok, tal vez estamos teniendo problemas de conexión. Algunos eh, la voy a repetir esperando que ya el internet esté más estable y pues igual los que la escucharon bien pueden practicar nuevamente. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. Health problems. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And, and have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Ok, ahora sí escucharon mejor o sí la escucharon. Yes. 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 All right, awesome. So Thank remember you. that this is in the material that you download from the platform and I also send it in the PowerPoint presentation um, about noon, I guess. Yes, so uh, you have it in both. You have it in that material and also in the presentation I sent. So you can practice with your classmates and I'm going to create the breakout rooms. So you can interact with your classmates and role play this conversation. There you go. I'm going to look for, look for the dialogue. Okay. Okay. okay, somos cuantos? Cuatro, cinco. Seis. Ah, no, cinco. Oh, no, seis. Cinco, eh? <laughs> seis. Okay, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo iniciamos para practicar? Somos cuatro, seis. De dos en dos sería, ¿verdad? Ajá. Si quieren... Empecemos nosotras dos, si quiere. Vaya, perfecto. Inicia, si gusta. Fíjese que yo no sé cómo compartir la, la, la pantalla. 
Ah, y yo soy desde el cel. No, porque soy desde el celular. Ah, yo estoy desde la tableta, pero esta cosa si me salgo, se me, me salgo del, del, del Zoom. Vale, o sea que no voy a compartir buscar. entonces la, el screenshot en el grupo para que... Sí, está. Ahí lo... Perdón, ajá, si está en la tablet no es necesario que se salga. Eh, Le aparece un icono de una camarita. Quiero ver, sí. Y en la camarita hay una flechita para arriba, ¿verdad? Uh, lo... mm. Ahí les mandé el, el diálogo. ¿Los mandó? Sí, se lo acabo de mandar. Al grupo. Ah, ok, al okay. grupo. Ok, desde el grupo para que no perdamos tiempo. Ya lo tienen. Entonces, ahorita veo. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ok. Así porque ni modo. Vaya. Ok. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible COVID. Really? That's too bad. You should be at, at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Uh, just, just chop up a wolf head of garlic and cook in the in chicken stock. Try it. It's really worse. Yuck! That sounds awful. <laughs> Hoy ustedes. Perfect. Yo. Okay. Okay. Inicio. Yo. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Terrible cold. Really? Um, you are with Craig. You can mass. Diana. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. You start. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not too good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up, chop up, a whole, whole, whole heap of garlic and cook it in a in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that's an awful. <laughs> okay. Si, si le parece a Patricia, le ayudo yo y le toca a ella. Okay. Hi, Gray. How are you? Not too good. I have a terrible cold. Really does do bad. You should be at home. I bet it's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. Don't have to pay anything for it. No, I haven't. Good, it's not I help you to eat garlic. So you should wall heat of garlic and cook. Chicken, stop. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that's an awful. Sí. 
Sandra? Well, I think Sandra is not listening. Who wants to repeat the conversation with me, maybe? I. Me. Okay, start. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cut it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Jack, that sounds awful. Very good. Excellent. Congratulations to you. you too. You did it very nice. Thank you. Uh, Yes, Thank Dina you. and Ruth, excellent. I, I heard that you were putting the things together, like chop up. And uh, yes, it sounds very natural. Okay. Really? That's too bad. You're sure. Bid how home. It's bad. It's really important to get a lot of reds. Yeah, you're right. I have you take anything for it. No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat a garlic soup. Just, just chop well heads of garlic and cook in the chicken to treats. It's really worth. Jack. Taxon are awful. Okay. Rafa, I saw, I, I hear you what you say, treat, and, and I think it's try it. Yes, try. Try, try. try it. Thank and, you. Uh -huh. And put the words try. together as well, like for example, chop try. up. Uh -huh. Chop up. Together, chop up. Try it. Chop up. Uh -huh. Try it. Try it, try, try it, it. Mm -hmm. try it, try it, Thank try you. it, try it, mm -hmm. try it. And any word that's been difficult here or it's something that you would like to review? For me, it's okay. Okay, good. Only have one minute. Mm -hmm. Did you practice the last time? Rafa. Hi, Rafa. How are you? How are you, Daniel? I'm not so good. I have a terrible call. Oh, yeah. Continue. The conversation, the Sorry. dialogue. Really? That's too bad. Really? You're mute, Rafael. Really? That's too bad. You should. Should. Home. You should. should. Uh huh. You should be at home. In the bed is really important to get. All right, we're back again. I was just a, a little while, but in all the rooms, and I heard that all of you were practicing. So that was nice. And also, I heard that some of you were putting the words together, like, for example, chop up, try it, and things like that. You're doing it great. Remember that you have the audio of the conversation in the platform as well. That is the video, so you can continue practicing from there. Right now, before we continue with the next thing that we have, which is the grammar spot, uh, we're going to check attendance. Remember, if it is possible for you to turn on your cameras and say present uh, when you hear your names. Uh, 
Ada Marilu. Ada Marilu. Am I mute? Mm. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here. Thank you. Ana Ivania. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodriguez de Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodriguez de Funes. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Jancy Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Alexis. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Alejandro. Present from Colombia, teacher. All right, thank you. Diana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Tina Esmeralda. Present. Thank you, Tina. Eduardo Jose. Here, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present. Thank you. Francisco Daniel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Iris Concepcion. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria del Carmen. Here, my teacher. Thank you, Maria. Nancy Carolina. Patricia and Maris. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Rosalinda. Rosalinda. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Sandra Noemi. Present. Thank you. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jessica Rosibel. Jessica Rosibel. Okay. Well, we're going to watch the video about the grammar part in this section. We're practicing with help problems. In the conversation, uh, the lady there gave advice to Craig. So let us listen, hear the grammar point. Let's share sound again. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take 
cough drops. No se escucha, teacher. You're mute, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, uh, do you have any question about the explanation of the video or maybe uh, about the grammar here, vocabulary or pronunciation? Any question that you may have? No, teacher. No questions. Eduardo, you have raised your hand. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando dice eh, verbos sin conjugaciones, uh -huh. es como el verbo base, por decirlo así. Yes, uh -huh. es la explicación de lo que es un infinitivo. Cuando usamos infinitivos, eh, en este caso, si vamos a dar consejo um, o sugerencia, se pone el verbo sin conjugarlo. Esto se refiere a que si ustedes recuerdan, eh, si estamos, eh, esto es en presente simple, ¿verdad? Es parte de, eh, pero en la tercera persona singular que hay que agregarle ese al verbo o ese, entonces y empezamos a conjugar el verbo. O que si es el verbo to be, se conjuga en am, is, are, dependiendo de la persona. Eso no sucede con los infinitivos. El verbo se usa en forma base, sin agregarle nada. Solo se le pone to y luego el verbo en forma base. Thanks. Ok, you're welcome. Any other question? No, it's ok. It's ok. Good. Now we have some pieces of advice here. Advice is a word that doesn't take, um, it doesn't take yeah. a, a plural. So, uh huh. So that's what they are called pieces of good advice because, uh huh, we cannot say advices, it is incorrect. That word doesn't have plural in English. So, you have to add pieces. In, in case that there are more than one, you add pieces of advice. Uh, so we have a health problems in one column and in another um, column, we have uh, uh, several pieces of advice, okay? We have, uh, oh, 10 pieces and eight health problems. So we can select more than one here so what would you do for a sore throat? A cough. Or maybe two of, uh, of advice will not work. Maybe. I'm sorry? Maybe uh, two of advice we are not using. Uh -huh, maybe, but, I don't know. Um, uh -huh, the word advice, like here, it is in singular right? It's a singular word. It doesn't take plural. So I can give you an advice, but if I can, if I want to give you two or more, that would be pieces of advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We have a problems here. Sore throat, a cough, mm -hmm. a backache, a fever, a toothache, a bad headache, a burn, the flu. Is there any question about this vocabulary of the problems? No, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Advice. In the column of advice, we have take some vitamin C, put some ointment on it, drink lots of liquids, go to bed and rest, Put a healing pad on it. Put it under cold water. Take some aspirin. See a dentist. See a doctor. Get some medicine. Questions here about in the advice column? No. No. Okay. okay. So yes, we have to match the problems with the advice and we can give more than once. For example, what would you do for a sore throat? Get, get some medicine. 
get some medicine. Get, uh, get some medicine. Put some ointment on it. Mm. Or drink all or drink. Oh yeah, food. like um uh, big paparu, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. that's an ointment. Yes. <laughs> yes. Put some ointment yeah. on it, yes. So it's a good uh -huh. advice. What else? Take some vitamin C. Take some vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or is put some ointment on it. Uh-huh. Yes, that can work as well. Okay, so in this one, we have to talk about these problems and give advice. And what other advice do you have? So in this, we are going to work in groups and you can write your suggestions in a, maybe in your notebook, or if you want to use a, a Word document, you can do it as well. But you can do it in your notebook as well. So as you find it easier. So the idea is to uh, create a sort of a presentation and share ideas. For example, what should you do for a short growth? And we have to use this structure. It's important too. It's sometimes helpful too. It's a good idea too. So you can say it's a good idea to get some medicine from the drugstore. And it's important to drink lots of liquids. So you can say, it's sometimes helpful to put some ointment on it. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to give as much advice and is there anything else that is not in this list that you can do for a sore throat? So you can say, uh, uh, it's sometimes helpful to drink ginger tea. Have you tried the ginger tea? Yes. Yeah, it's sometimes Absolutely. helpful for the sore throat. Mm -hmm. So you it's can give that advice as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not really, it doesn't taste good, but it helps sometimes. So um, is the exercise clear what we're going to do? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, question. remember to use, uh-huh. We want to work in pair of, uh, we have to um, put on a, in a book or not? Uh, the way or that you question. find easier for the group, because then you're going to share the ideas in the main section. So I'm going to allow you uh, some minutes for you to do as much as possible. Um, you can do it in your notebook if it's easier for you to write down your ideas and then you share in the main section. If it's if easier for you to do it in the Word document, you can do it as well, but we're going to work in groups, okay? Okay. All right, so let's work on it. We can do it in uh, in the in the cuaderno or in the document. ¿Qué saldría mejor? Mm, Quizás mejor en el documento. En el cuaderno nos vamos a tardar más. Ok, eh, ¿les parece bien si comparto la pantalla? Sí, por favor. ¿Alguien más? Sí, por favor, comparta la compañera.
So for the first problem, what advice we can suggest? I think that it's a good idea to put some ointment on it. Letter D. Ointment. Okay. Letter D. Letter B. Okay. And for a cough. Take some vitamin C. Take some cough is like tos, verbal. Uh oh. Mm. It's important to, to drink, drink jarabe. jarabe. Anybody know how to say jarabe? Um, syrup. Syrup. Uh -huh. It's S. Uh -huh. S as in Sam. Y as in yellow. R as in Richard. U as in umbrella. P as in Paul. Uh, could you repeat me again, please, teacher? Okay, I'm going to write it in the chat. Can you see it okay. in the chat? Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. That is jarabe. Syrup. It's like syrup of maple. Ah, uh, so you, you, uh -huh. you put maple first, maple syrup. Okay. It's okay, just tape syrup or uh-huh. Oh, you can write syrup. cough syrup. Como hay muchos tipos de jarabe hay para la fiebre, para la tos, puede poner cough syrup. Okay. Cough syrup. Okay, for a back cake. Go to bed and rest. Go to bed and rest. Uh -huh. okay. Go to bed and rest. It's a good idea. B. Um, for a fever. To get some medicine. Get some medicine. Oh, sorry. Is there... Okay, and for a tooth cake, see a dentist, maybe? Age, see a dentist. Okay. Age. Uh, for a bad headache. Mm -hmm. Uh, take some aspirin and it's really helpful helpful to drink lots of liquids drink lots of liquids mm, mm, the two or just one of two I think 
both up. Maybe uh, take some aspirin. Okay. It's more for a general headache, maybe. G, a burn. Creo que es como una quemada. It's on my mind on it. On my mind on it. It's important for down the counter. The letter B. Yes. Okay, and for the flu? Sorry, to take some vitamin C. Okay, take some vitamin C. A. Okay, finish. Is there any letter we are missing? F. Sorry. Put it under cold water. Under cold. In the number seven. Protective. Put it under cold. Yeah. Under seven. Okay. And put it. Under cold water. Stiller air. Okay. Um, Letter I. Yeah, doctor. Or y, perdón, una pregunta. Tenemos que poner. Todas las que funcionan, no solo una. Yo creo que no, que sobrarían dos. Ah, todas las que, ah, las que aplican. Uh -huh. Todas Ajá. las que apliquen. Ajá. Oh, sorry. sorry. So, pero igual pueden añadir doctor, algo que no está ahí. Pueden poner cosas adicionales. Ok, mm -hmm. thanks. In, in a back, backache, I think can help crack your back. Break, break your back, okay. Uh, how, ¿Cómo se escribe? Break your back. Crack. Mm. C R A C. Uh huh. K. Okay. K. C R A C K. Okay. 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 And for a born, see a doctor, number A. For the flu, it's important <laughs> to see a doctor. Oh, okay, okay. And drink a lot of of liquids for a uh, 
All right, uh, we're back again. Let's see someone from group one, which was Ana Silvia, Daniel Alejandro, Diana, Iris, Sandra, and Vicente. What is uh, what you have for a sore throat? What do you recommend? Uh, okay, a sore throat. Uh -huh, for a sore throat, what do you recommend? Uh, drinks, uh, drinks, uh, li liquids. Okay, remember to use the, the structure. It is helpful to drink or it is important to drink. Uh, it's still a good idea to drink. Uh, drink medicine. Ah, it's important to. It's important to drink medicine. To take medicine, okay. Anything else? Take medicine. The letter I because the letter I is see a doctor because the sore throat and maybe that is a problem with the uh, uh, throat and it's important uh, it's important, it's important. to mm -hmm. visit a doctor. Yes, excellent. It's, in, mm -hmm. it's important to, to visit see a, doc a doctor. To visit a doctor. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now in room two, we have Ana Silvia, Cristina, Rafael, and Ruth. Let's see what do you have for number two for a cough. Letter B, it's important to put some ointment on it. Oh, to put some ointment on your throat, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm, two, uh... A cough is it, important to drink a lot of liquids. Yes, you're right to drink a lot of liquids. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes it's sometimes helpful go to bed and rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, that can work too. Well. Unfortunately, the time is over, so we could not uh, continue checking, but we will do it tomorrow. So thank you for joining today's section. Thank you for your participation and for being on time. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Good night.